Today we ask the age old question, will it ramen? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Ear Biscuits is our weekly podcast where we open our minds, our hearts, and our memories, giving you our most personal stories. Mm. Listen on iTunes or Spotify, or watch it on youtube.com slash Ear Biscuits. Yes, as a soon to be dead Stark once said, winter is coming y'all. And when that frosty chill of 75 degrees hits LA, the only way to keep yourself Ooh, yeah. from feeling as cold as Santa's loveless marriage is to warm up with a nice steaming bowl of ramen. So to best prepare for the icy weather ahead, we're going to slurp up some hot soupy nudes, the likes of which you've never seen in your local ramen hoods. But will any of it be any good? <laughs> it's time for <laughs> Will It Ramen? Ramen traditionally consists of three things, broth, noodles, and meat. And with that versatility, you can get ramen practically anywhere from Michelin star restaurants to those little styrofoam cups that you got a B Y O H W T E. Yeah. So, with that said, this first one is for all of us picky eaters who might need a gateway bowl to the world of ramen. We're calling it grilled cheese ramen or staying with dad this weekend ramen. <laughs> Look at that. Josh, what have you done? So we have a cheddar pork broth, we have tomato infused noodles like the tomato soup, and then we have a bread wrapped deep fried soft boiled egg and then a pork katsu grilled cheese sandwich layered on top. Okay, I'm gonna go noodles first. Oh, you are? Now, I think you're supposed to, you're really supposed to you're supposed to have this all together, right? It's like one of these. There are no rules, man. You can do it however you want to and you can let everyone else do it the way they want to. Hmm, <laughs> you got the pork, so cheesy. This is, and then the, man, you got this egg here. Oop. Now typically, See, Daisy. the dairy and the cheese is not a part of it, which makes it so, like, it feels wrong, but, I don't want to be right. You know what I'm saying? This whole thing is just quite a treat. This my, is one of the my lips are so no, no, I can't even gather myself. My lips are lubricated. <laughs> like are you? Are your lips lubricated? So lubricated. Woo! This is one of the best things that we've had on the show, and we've had a lot of really good things. This mm. is this is up there. This is top ten best mm. taste that I put in my mouth at this desk. So <sighs> easy grilled cheese. Will it ramen? Yes. yes! Ramen is a quick food, so we thought, what if we combined it with fast food? Ah. This is Jack in the Bowl. <laughs> yeah, we've ramen Jack in the box. How did this happen, Josh? Uh, so we made a buttery Jack broth, which is exactly what it sounds like, and then we have Jumbo Jack noodles. Okay. Uh, we have just two tacos on the outside. Uh, like Jumbo the Jack noodles? What, what, we, what is uh, that? We ground up some Jumbo Jacks right into the noodle dough, and then just boiled those off. So like a cheeseburger noodle? Yes, correct. And okay. then we also have a little uh, curly fry fish cake. There's no fish in it, just curly fry. The noodles taste like a burger. That is weird. Tastes like a noodled burger. You ever just licked an entire Jack in the Box restaurant? Like from the moment you walk in, you're like dragging your tongue up to the register. That's what I'm getting with the noodles. And then the butter. That's how I enter Jack in the Box every time I go. <laughs> tongue first. What's this thing again? This is a curly fry cake? Yeah. And this is just a quesadilla. Ta yeah. I mean a taco. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mess with perfection. You know, Taco Bell figured it, or Jack in the Box figured it out. Um, okay, I like the t taco di dipped in the ramen. It's nice. Um, I'm, I'm having enjoying little, myself. I'm but having a little trouble with the noodles. They're a little odd to me. I'm not enthusiastic about this one. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, I was so enthusiastic yeah. about grilled cheese that I'm slowing my roll just a little bit. And this guy is just plain creepy. You know, it. You know, I I think it would be the perfect thing for him to serve. It's like, oh gosh, are you a clown? Are you a ping pong? Okay, well, ping pong. Ball. <laughs> okay, so are we saying Jack in the Box? Will it ramen? No. no. Soda, it's great in a can, it's great in a bottle, it's great in a glass, but is it great in a bowl? We're calling this one getting fizzy with it <laughs> ramen. Bringing that back. Now as Southerners, we always have problem calling it soda or soda pop, cause we just, we called it. Coke. We called everything Coke. No matter what got, it was. Or you would just call it what it was. Like, I want some grape soda or. Mellow yellow or whatever. Yeah, whatever. 
Uh, okay, and we've Just... been told to, to reinvigorate this a little bit with some fresh ginger ale. Yeah. What What is in this? Uh, the gin, it's just like ginger ale. No, in the bowl. In the bowl. Oh, okay, in the bowl. Uh, so we have a ginger ale and chicken broth, and then we have an egg that's actually made out of cactus cooler and Sprite. That's uh, a vegan egg substitute. And then we have Mountain Dew pickled must, uh, mustard greens, and then we have uh, chashu pork that's been braised in cherry Dr. Pepper, and then some grape soda noodles. Dr. Pepper braised pork. Yeah, and this is a cold ramen styled after a uh, hiyashi chuka, which is a cold Japanese ramen dish. Look at that egg. Look at this translucent egg. It looks like a soap that like your weird aunt would make. Like, I've been making soaps on Etsy. They're not moving too much, so you can have a carton. A carton. Grape soda noodles is where I'm gonna, I'm gonna begin the, my journey. I'm having some egg, because I'm so intrigued by it. Whoa, I don't mind that. Mmm, that's kinda good. I like some grape noodles. It's weird how I mean, it could be that there's just a bunch of Skittles and water. Mm -hmm. If you told me that's what this was, it kind of tastes like that, but I think Skittles and water would be a good thing, according to this, because and the cold wa the cold is not throwing me off. It might turn me on to, what did you call it? Uh, Hiyashi Chuka. Yeah, that. Uh, you on the same page here? Oh, oh, you just ate the egg and you look upset. I mean, that's just a bit disturbing, but it doesn't taste bad at all. It tastes good, it tastes like a gummy. Yeah. It's it's not bad, and then that. Yeah, I think I think I'm pleasantly surprised. This is quite an adventure. Who would have thunk it? Soda, will it ramen? Yes. Now I like throwing a big hard square of ramen in some hot water and watching it relax into floppy noodles. And yes. a very similar thing happens to me when I take a bath. So we were like, <laughs> what if we made ramen into a bath bomb? Say hello to the bath bombing. <laughs> okay, so wh wh what is this? Whoa, whoa, what the heck of a question, man. So uh, it's baking soda, powdered sugar, citric acid, and cornstarch. That forms the bath bomb. Then we have a lot of dehydrated ramen vegetables and instant ramen in there along with the seasoning packet. So we're going to throw this in there. And, and this thing is solid, It's going to dissipate. <laughs> it is solid. Oh, God. It's solid all the Here way through. <sighs> and then we just give it some time, I guess. This is some freaking colorful ramen. Just like a colorful bath bomb. Ooh, there's some shrimp. Man, I, I, I just wish I could be in that bowl with it. Yeah, the bowl with it. I'd eat noodles off of myself. I actually think it's good to start eating knowing that it's, it's still kinda dissipating at the same time. I think we can eat the loose parts for sure. Yeah, cause this is a this is a hefty, hefty boulder of a of a ramen ball. Meant for a real big bath. This is cool though, man. Here, you want that? Yeah, I'll get it. I wanna I'm trying to Well, the noodles are still pretty crispy. The al dente is the cooking term. Okay. Uh and is that intentional? It it is indeed. He's gonna say everything that we ask is intentional if you ask him if it's intentional. Yes, that is correct. Oh, but you know what? It's not too crunchy. It's like these noodles are in a plasma state. That's what al dente actually means in Italian, plasma state. And that's chicken? Yeah, dehydrated chicken. And then oh dehydrated gosh, chicken. dehydrated chicken. Yeah, uh. well it's hydrating right now. You guys just didn't have the patience. Not quite hydrated chicken. <laughs> is, is there baking soda? There's something that's really A lot knocking, of baking soda. Knocking my taste buds Almost for, mostly baking oh soda. Brown. Woo. Can you just eat baking soda straight? Uh, We're finding out right now. <laughs> yeah, I think, woo, that's tough. The thing that makes it fizzy and turns it into a rock is also the thing that makes it makes salty. You, makes you real salty. I really want to like this, Josh. Oh, the experience was great and watching it start to happen, but then when it gets to the eating portion of the meal. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that right back Which kind of matters. It's not coming together. Yeah, you get an A for effort though. Bath bombs, will it ramen? No. no. Now when I look at dry ramen noodles, I've often thought, that looks like a brain except square. Yep. And apparently this Japanese company thought the same thing. Mm. Uh, of course, this is false advertising. Uh, there's no actual brain in there. Right. So in the interest of accuracy and honesty, we present medulla ramen gata. <sighs> and we're gonna eat it from our own brains, from our own heads. Something uh, about this feels wrong. I feel like we should 
Do you want to eat from yourself or you want to eat from your buddy? Yeah, I don't. I got enough of my own brains. At least that's my opinion. What you want to do? You want? We eat each other's brain. We drank each other's urine. Yeah, that feels right. Um, that feels right. Okay, so. I like what you've done with your facial hair. <laughs> got a little shadow there. I got a shadow. All right, I'm gonna reveal first here. Oh my gosh, look at yeah. that. There's an actual brain in there. It's not just in the noodles. Oh wow, the smell is, wow, how did you achieve mm. that? So this is a 24 hour <laughs> brain broth. <laughs> We've uh, simmered the brains for 24 hours, then blended a few into the broth to get some body. Then we yeah, ground up some brains, of body. put it into the noodles, and then just some fresh brain on top for texture. Thanks for the the fresh brain on top yeah. for texture. All right, let's only the best. I don't want them. I don't want them to watch us eating. Uh, it smells absolutely horrible. It smells like which is something I've never done before. What it might smell like if you were to just take somebody's head and pull the top of their skull off. That's just like your opinion, man. I think if I can get used to the scent, I'll be able to at least give it a shot. This is what brain surgeons see every day, man. It's okay. Similar. All right, let's not stall anymore here. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I guess we gotta just create a bite. And then you gotta put some actual, oh gosh. There's brain bits all over my my noodles. Oh gosh, okay. Well, The key is not to think about it being brain. You gotta think about it being something hold on, else. You got, hold on, you gotta put fresh brain on top of it. There's brain all over it. There's actually no, even hey, hair. You, you have to honor the chef, the request of the chef. You don't want to insult him. What you're saying? Just get a. I just got a little piece of brain. Just sit, nestle it right on top there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I came to play today. <laughs> Put me in, coach. How much do you have? Watch what I'm gonna do. I want the ball, coach. I'm clutch. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna spit this out. I'm psyching myself up. I mean, get it. it and and slurp it. Oh man, you're making it worse than it has to be. Starting me all year. <laughs> you see what I do when you put me in? You see how I behave under pressure? can do it too. Ah! Yes! Yeah! Oh. Oh, oh. Don't, ye don't yell too loudly, I almost just threw up my yelling. Uh, uh, wow, okay, now hey, now give it a moment, give it a moment to hit the stomach and see if you receive anything. It's in there. Let's cover this guy, cause I don't want to be. Here. I feel good. I feel smarter. I feel like I did something. But you know what? The lingering taste in my mouth tastes like butt. Brains. Will it ramen? No. <laughs> okay, hey, you know what? We almost got there. We did successfully consume it. Oh, um, my gosh. And we got two things that did, <laughs> Will. <laughs> Grilled cheese and soda. So I feel like we've accomplished something today. <sighs> Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. <laughs> I'm Cade. And I'm Misha. And we're on the Trans-American Trail in New Mexico. Will it road? And, and now, now it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. mythicality. Oh, you know when they saw that, they were like, hey, we, 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 we gotta stop. <laughs> I love it. Click the top link to watch us try all 31 flavors of Baskin Ramens Ooh. with Josh in Good Mythical More. And if I know where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. I love this town. Like, where can you go Get a lavender latte, get on a giant swan, swan paddle your way to, to a, a rap battle. battle.